Hi, my name is Karina Hinckley, and I'm a poet, a senior, from also a poet from Lincoln High School. And this is called Inside Tree. I've been told that my writing is too dense. Too thick to get through, the meaning is so often lost under layers of unnecessary description. Sometimes I wonder if it's my writing that's too dense, or if it's me. Too dense to see when transparency is required in voice and word and mind. Everything is muddled in jokes and stories and fixes and phrases. Karina, would it kill you to make things simple once in a while? Well, the answer to that is a resounding maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. Probably. I don't know if I can. My mind is always churning the voices of all the different roads I didn't take, whispering sweet failures in my ear, conversations unspoken, too many relationships broken, feeling everything go up in smoke, and opportunities lost are regrets gained. Regrets with opinions and with anger. I wish my regrets didn't have so many opinions. I wish I didn't have so much anger. I digress. I've never made things simple. Overthinking to me is just thinking. There is a fear of the too easy and a terror of the too hard. Everything is too hard. Everything must be. I will make it that way even if I don't mean to, even if I don't want to. And I've always beat around the bush. Beat it too much. Hit it until it cries, and then I cry, and then we're both crying, and I'm hugging a bush. But the bush doesn't really exist. It's just a literary personification of the avoidance tactic that I live by. My heart beats by. I breathe by. I digress. I bought a tree the other day. It's a Norfolk pine, with needles as soft as kindness. It sits on my electric guitar amplifier in a tower of light that comes from my curtains. That tree is the reason there is natural light in my room, the reason I open my curtains. I give it water from my Spider-Man water bottle every night and pray to the tree gods, if there are tree gods, that it's not too much that I don't accidentally drown this tree that lives on my amplifier because sometimes that tree provides the only breath of air I can take in a world devoid of atmosphere. When my lungs can't expand, the weight of guilt exerts too much pressure. When my ribs can't move and I feel like I am drowning, there is this tree that sits in a tower of light out from curtains that I never opened before and I think I feel better. It's okay that I never go outside because I have a tree on the inside. And it doesn't matter that I take three vitamin D pills every night because the same water that I use to down my mock suns comes from the same water that I use to keep my tree alive. I digress. Poetry. Poetry is hard. I wish poetry could be simple. Unlike my thoughts and like my tree, my tree that lives in a tower of light and drinks from the same water bottle that I do, that breathes when I forget to. Thank you.